And hello and welcome back, friends of the giant cave spiders. That are able to breed. I read it up. <laughs> welcome back to Whisper Walls. And yeah, so I stopped yesterday's episode. Oh, yeah, you can see, where's I cleared? Migrants arrived. So this was like literally, I end the episode. I found a lot of stuff for some reason. Let's see. Yeah, I, have, I found a lot of stuff. Um, I think one of my dwarves walked further into one of the caverns. And yeah, so you see this? Uh, planter Kansas Butcher Animal interrupted by giant cave spider corpse. So, um, remember when I said that one of the uh, cave spiders was pretty badly injured? Turns out it died. So, my butcher sucked. Yeah, okay, now I'm grabbing it and bringing it to the butcher zone and butchering it. Bad idea. Because <laughs> it's got a life again. It attacked my butcher. Tasse. Um, I'm very, very lucky that the giant cave spider corpses wasn't able to spit webbing. At least it looks like it cannot spit webbing. But he bit the planter in the foot and injured him a bit. Uh, in the upper body, tearing the muscle, bruising the left lung, uh, and so on and so forth. And with a really good hit. Oh yeah, the planter bites the giant cave spider corpse in the abdomen and the injured part is torn apart. So, now we have the planter that killed the giant cave spider. Um, who was it? Tasse. Let's have a look at Tasse. I think he's alright. Oh, he's resting right now. So, he most likely needs some operations. Oh yeah, he's cut open pretty badly. But we have water and we have soap, so... So it should work out alright. Okay, anyway, so... Yeah, no butchering in here. I think I need to put it all the way up in the north and I could have a good chance there that it's not an evil territory anymore. Problem is, because I cleaned everything up, I don't know what evil is and what isn't. So I think we need a... We need like a butcher area or something. Just for that. And I need to wait for new goblin blood to find out where I can put it. Uh, I think if I can put it on the right side here, that would be great because then I can just put down a new pillar and do it there. But yeah, at least now I know that I really shouldn't have it put down there. Well, actually, I have all these corpses up here, so most likely this is a good area. So oh, let's put down an area here to have a workshop there and build up in a way so I can lock doors in just in case uh, things are going wrong again. I still don't have a refusal or a corpse stockpile. And I have new migrants and uh, let's have a look at the new guys so we have a ranger uh, he's a novice Markstroff, Dodger, Animal Trainer, novice Trevor okay so he's not really useful is he? Oh, okay he's a Marks Dwarf so I guess he will go straight into the military so what about you? novice Markstroff, Dabbling Shield user Armor user, observer, newer trainer, trapper, booer, cooker, gelder. Okay. Eh. He's an adequate dodger already, so he might go into my regular military force. Here we have English the lamp. Um, what are you? Competent mace dwarf. Oh yeah, I like. I love that. Okay, so what else? Let's let's put down these things. He's a great metal crafter. So I now have two great metal crafters. Yeah, it's time. Another competent maestroff and also a cook. And he is an adept persuader, comedian, consoler, writer. Okay. Let's put down the Musclarius. He's a great cook. Okay, yeah. That's the thing he's doing. Here we have a mechanic. Oh, he's a siege engineer. Okay. Yeah, you he will be a siege engineer and a mechanic when he's done. And uh, Luis Brewer, Abelist, Adequate Armor Smith. Oh, really nice. Really, really nice. I think I will keep him as an armor smith and I will also give him the glazing option so he can do creative work when he's not working. Okay, um, should I give some names right now? Okay, I wait until they are in the fortress and then we will see how's, how the cookie's crumbling, as you say. Okay, um, anyway, Umprump, our broker, should be our sheriff. 
He needs a dining room, chests, cabinets, weapon breaks, armor stands. Okay, yeah, he will get that soon. And with soon, I mean uh, literally an eternity because I cannot keep up with the digging jobs. Well, so far, my dwarves are relatively happy, so that is good. Uh, at some point, of course, I really need to give them good rooms. And a nice tavern. At least I'm now I'm now able to uh, prepare some lavish real meals. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look at our stockpiles. We have 118 meat. We only have 28 drinks. No, 137. Yeah, that should be enough for 20 dwarves. I think this is the last migrant wife this year. So, okay. Why are you thirsty? Can someone please give this guy something to drink? Giving him something to drink, love it. Suture, okay. No, you're not. I'm suturing his wounds. That's also very helpful. Dress wound. Dress wound. Dress next wound. Oh, he got water. Nice. Okay, good to know. He needs empty cages. Yeah, I kind of sold all my cages here. I don't need the crutches and splints anymore, actually. What I need are bats. Two bats, three bats. One, oh, my A is doing weird stuff again. Oh yeah, but I do need an armor stand. I also need a weapon break, but I need... Yes, I do need chairs, but I want them made of stone. And I want more cages and then more bats. Because I really need to use bats. Okay, so... Let's put a repeat on all of this. Yeah, not at least, but like this. So I didn't need to worry about it anymore. Okay, what are you doing? You are brewing. You're one of the new guys, aren't you? Why are you brewing? I went straight up for the job. Okay, yeah, let's give them jobs right now before I'm getting mad at people doing other dwarves' jobs. And then I will get bad rings and bad things okay let's go dwarf therapist here we go so let's sort this by the migration wave wait a second this is the military status uh, migration wave okay so um with some guys that were really good at fighting uh i have a hunter i really don't want to have a hunter or do i the thing with hunting is that if they kill something and they come back as corpses they will hunt down my hunter I really don't want a lot of animals in my fortress unless I really have to have them. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, anyway. Okay, who was the guy? Toasty, Toasty, what, what is your job again? Musician, spirit speaker. Okay, yeah, you are with the Warflers right now. So you're getting a stone deterring job. Cyril, Cyril, you're a fisher, it looks like. Fisher, Fisher, clean detector, really happy or enthusiastic, values, hermitous existence, he's working as a foolish waste of time, dreams of mastering a skill. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay, we have a military guy, and his name is Schultze. Okay, let's put, let's put him in the military right now, before I forget it. Um, and position Schultze. The fishery worker. I think I will give him a hammer once I have one. Because I really need hammer dwarfs and mace dwarfs against the corpses. Okay, Dacost. What are you? You are a hunter. No, you're not. You are actually. What are you good at? Does not often feel lustful, can handle stress. Tends to be passive in discussions, doesn't care about art, doesn't care about nature one way or another, disdains loyalty. Uh, and dreams of raising a family, disdains loyalty, okay. You are actually... Why do you have so many fish at all? <laughs> you are actually... Um, what do I need right now? Um, I need masons. So, welcome into the wonderful world of being a mason. Um, your name is Yelka. 
Okay, here we go. Um, cook, our uh, cook is named Mostrich. Uh, problem with him is, I do have a cook, but he is a lot better at doing his job. So, yeah, we have a new cook. Okay, Jäger, Mostrich, and so on and so forth. Reed. Reed was the metal crafter. Um, I said that he should be a stone detailer until I get a better job for him. And his name is Mango. Okay, it's actually her name, but I told you before I don't really care about gender <laughs> dwarfs. Okay, Schultze is already a military dwarf. So let's say Zebrek. Zebrek is. Clickety click. Thinks of friendship is important, respects power, does not enjoy participating in physical confrontations. Oh, yeah, so military is not for you. So, what do I need? I need people that can build stones, uh, do stuff with stones right now. So, uh, welcome to the wonderful world of storytelling. And your name will be um, Tankard. Okay, and Zodel is named Blackgate, and he will be our armorer, and he will go strict on his job, I guess. You know what? Uh, you, Tangat, my friend, are actually a wood burner and a furnace operator. Where is it? Wood burning, furnace operating. Um, same goes for this guy. Wood burning, furnace operating. Because I really need those soon. Okay, Ovat. Ovat, um, no hunting. Okay, I can live with that. So, what are you good at? Animal tech, hacker, trapper, novice crossbow man. Oh, yeah, I wanted him to be my first crossbow guy. And your name will be. Um, Lactat. Okay. And Zan will be a gear boy. <laughs> I know you wanted to have gear boy color, but I'm going with gear boy. And you will have architecture and mechanics as one of your main jobs. Mr. Zan here. Okay, here we go. And what you also get the stone detailing. Because everybody loves to detail stone, don't they? Okay, let's switch off the therapist. Okay, who was the guy I put in the crossbow military? Uh, I wanted to. Um, I forgot his name. Which is weird. Okay, let's go to military status. Mango and Mostrich called Beard. No, wait a second. This is my Mace Dwarf, not. Mm -hmm. Bowman. I don't have good bowmen. I thought they were competent, but they're like novice. Novice, novice. All of them are novice. Only Umprump is good with a crossbow. Okay, that's weird. So uh, let's ignore this. <laughs> no crossbows for us right now. Uh, let's put down the butchery. Where is it? Butcher, butcher. Mushroom, mushroom. Okay, put it way all the way up here in the northwest, and hopefully this time it will work better. Get down the trees, so the evil stuff cannot climb over into my fortress. Yeah, yeah. You need cages, I know. Cages coming up, and I need more rock mechanics, of course. Did I already set up the bridge? Yes, I did. Okay. Here we go. What do we have in here? A crundle. So we have two crundles now. And a cave crocodile. With a bit of luck, I can put in the cave crocodiles into this area at some point. But right now, cave crocodiles are really nice if I, for some reason, need to eat something. Anyway, so 
let's take go to the crown vault and you know what actually need to put this away okay crown vaults i wanted to tame them at some point uh lakat has nothing to do if i remember right so you guy you are training all my crown vaults here I will build a special training area later, but right now I'm only training the scrundles, so I can turn them into food later. So no need to do something special. Oh yeah, I wanted to one of them should be a miner. Totally forgot. I bought the pickaxe. Okay, none of those is really good at anything mining related. So, um, Let's take the one that is the most useless. Uh, I think Yelka should be that right now. Novice Dodger, Novice Ambusher, Novice Crossbowman. Oh, we had read that wrong, I guess. Okay, um, Yelka is a new miner, so we have three miners now. That should speed up a lot of things, because as you can see, miners are taking quite a time now. Okay, so how is my sleeping place planning going on quite well I would guess put down these beds oh yeah three more beds uh, carpenter is working day and night rock mechanic is working day and night what happened here why is this paused it is snowing golem blocked okay it's not paused because of that oh huh, interesting um, and you should create a rock rings all the time. You should create doors, no, tables, doors, doors, tables. Oh, come on, doors, tables, chairs. Everybody gets an R approval. This is the giant cave spider. I really didn't want to put up the cave spider farm right now because I need to worry about my regular stuff, but the cave spider will not break out as long as I'm not standing on uh, on where it was caught. The outpost layer, layer song is just standing around in here. I have no idea why. Trays are gone, and I will stand there. This is not a nice place to be. Okay, more crabs. I need to come up with an uh, idea how to catch these crabs. I think a real man should have crabs at some point in his life. <laughs> I promised you Dwarf Fortress. I didn't promise you any quality in any way. Okay, Umpump is doing his thing. He needs his own room soon. So, let's see. Let's make some bedrooms in here, just to get this out of the way. A gremlin. Already? Okay. That was quick. Where is it? You should be worried if you see gremlins in your fortress, because gremlins uh, will come back again and again, and they will pull the first level they see and if you're a smart kid you can put up gremlin traps like traps that are triggered when the gremlin pulls the lever but other than that it's really hard to catch a gremlin because they are ignoring regular cage traps until you punch them out All right. you also should never feed them after midnight by the way what do you have here this looks like Cave fish woman blowgunner mangled bone. So we do have blowguns. If you're lucky. Feel good glow bun. Yeah, and we have some darts. Uh, not a lot. Too bad. I'd love to have some blowgun darts because then I could do my poison stuff with them later. But maybe just maybe we will find a way to do that anyway talking about f doing stuff anyway okay let's take a look in my dangerous gates here and of course I don't have any armor it doesn't even have a shield um, 
Let's see. Do I have any weapon I want him to have? Nope. I think it's actually better if he is going in with no weapon and just a shield. Because <laughs> he can punch people with a shield, I guess. So, well, let's create a shield for him. Wooden shield. It should be around here somewhere. Spike, minecart, splint. Here we go. Yeah, make two of them. Just in case. Okay. Yeah, anyway, uh, let's go down to the low layer and let's try to figure out how this cavern looks like uh, because I don't want to be surprised by a group of mad hungry heads or something just waltzing into my fortress because I couldn't spot it. Looks like actually a lot of this cavern has been discovered. Oh, it's one of these labyrinthian caverns. It's really hard to keep an eye on. But the upside is that it's really easy to block some areas and then put cage traps into the small gaps. That's why it's really easy to get stuff like snakes. Oh yeah, maybe we get snakes. That would be actually nice. Okay, let's have a look at my animals. We have dead wolf, wolf corpses. Oh yeah. Um, where are they? This is the south side of my fortress. Looks like they are just passing by. Is it just me or are they taking the same way over and over again like the undead creatures? I talked about removing all the ramps and just leaving this one up. So everything that wants to go in my fortress has to come up from here and everything else will be blocked off right up till here so I didn't need to worry about my west side at all but seeing how exposed my east side is um, it's not really an option at all this cage trap is really good <laughs> cooked a lot of stuff by the way really good what what is happening to Aranka is she stationing oh yeah she is <coughs> Please kill this mole thing. So this is a giant mole? Yeah. Not because it did something evil, but just because I can. And it counts as training. So let's go all the way over here. Because this is kind of where my knowledge ends. I really need some some flasks and backpacks. So my dwarves can, oh, engineer, nice. Um, so my dwarves can, what is this? Oh, it's it's losing its leaves. <laughs> Just the leaves falling down. Yeah, I need a drinking can or a backpack or something so my dwarves um, can take food with them and don't have to run all the way up again. If they're getting thirsty or hungry or anything. I did make wooden blocks, didn't I? So let's make a well. It needs a chain. I do have a rope. I thought the rope would count as a chain, but it looks like it's not. So yeah, one more reason to get the metal crafting business up as fast as possible. What is Anka doing? Please, Anka, tell me you're doing your job. On the other side. Well, she's slowly getting into it. Also need to know everything that is close to my fortress just so I can raise the bridge in case the forgotten beast is coming in. I really need to know once it enters the screen and not when it's halfway in front of the gate. Because sometimes Things are going wrong when you're opening gates. Wait a second, I have a fight. Okay, it's just a giant mole. Who killed it? Hey, where's the short sword? This short sword turned out to be really helpful at the beginning. Okay, so looks like this is everything I can know. 
this area. No, actually not. I can go all the way up to here. What is this? A cave crocodile mangled skeleton. I think the blowgun hunted those. Fungi with blowgun. That's no, the blowgun a corpse. They really got killed. <laughs> oh, and an auto save. Because now it's winter. Now the interesting part begins. Will we freeze to death? Will we die in the eternal snow? You will find out in the next episode of Dwarf Fortress Whisper World.